What is up, Ladder Climbers? This is Antoine Wade, and I run the Black Heights channel where we talk about careers in tech. We talk about the tech education. We also talking about getting to the money. And I wanted to make this video today because I am constantly getting asked the question of what is the best role for management information systems major? I hear it all the time. And I'm like, guys, there is no best role for a management information systems major or a graduate. It all depends on what you like. There are tons of jobs that you can get as a management information systems graduate or major. There are tons of roles that you can fulfill because you are very qualified. You have knowledge on the business side. You also have knowledge on the technical side. So that opens you up to be able to have access to over 20 different jobs, 20 different types of jobs that you can actually do. And then when you come to me and ask Uncle Antoine, what is the best role for you? There isn't one. I can't give you a direct answer on what is the best for you. But some of the roles that you can get into guys, are things like web specialists, right? Things like becoming an IT technician, becoming a web developer, becoming an IT analyst, becoming a, you know, a management analyst, an information security analyst, and cybersecurity, a systems administrator, a data manager, a data engineer, an application developer. There are so many types of jobs or roles or careers paths that you can go down to where there is not one best one. Now, how should you go about finding your path? How should you go about finding your path? Well, the way how you can go about finding your path is while you are doing your management information systems curriculum, while you are in school, you should be exploring the different areas of technologies while you're in school, in your program. So many of the times your curriculum is going to have things on software engineering, networking, project management. Well, once you find a class that you do very well in a B plus, then you should say, okay, well, I did pretty well in this class. I like the work that I did in that class. That should be the path that you should explore to try to commit to. Then you should then make sure you sign up for the electives that complement that path that you were taking. One of the things that I did was, okay, well, I enjoyed the coding aspect of it in the management information systems curriculum. So I not only did a computer science minor with extra coding classes, I took additional coding classes in my electives where I had a choice to pick either project management, database administration, operations courses, international business courses. I said, no, I don't want to do any of that other stuff because I want to be a good sound developer. So I took extra classes for my electives that had a lot to do with the coding. So guys, management information systems is a fantastic major. However, it opens the door for you to do a lot of things. Now, if you are a person that you know, you need people to pick for you, then management information systems may not be the best degree for you because you're going to have so many options. And I know when you have so many options, it's very tough to pick, right? That's why in sales, when you are presenting something to people, you usually only give them a max of three because people are going to have a difficult time picking. Well, that's how you're going to have to eliminate all the other distractions while you're going in throughout your curriculum to get rid of all the extra stuff as well too. Find something that you like, commit to it and go down that path. You can't become a network administrator, a, a network engineer, an IT analyst, a project manager, all in one time. Those are things that you can build upon each other throughout your career, but you can't do it all. You have to find something that you want to do and then you have to commit to it. And the way how I would advise for you guys to find something that you like to do is whatever you enjoy doing in your classes, 
the exposure that you have and you do very well in it and you enjoy that piece of it, then commit to it. Commit to it. Another way that you can also explore different areas is by talking to people. Talk to other people that have different types of careers. Could be a network engineer, could be a cybersecurity specialist, could be an IT technician, could be an app developer. Talk to people to get a better understanding of what their day-to-day is like. You know, the fact that I'm on YouTube right now, having the ability to influence many people to go down the management information systems path is because I talk about it. And I'm influencing you all to consider this sort of a degree. Well, when you talk to other people about their careers, they may influence you to go down the path that they've gone down. And it could be from a number of things, from having a work-life balance or working for a good company or just enjoying themselves and making a high salary. So talk to other people who are in the professional world and that will help you to make a decision and choose a path. Another thing that you can consider as, as well, which you should be considering is, could consider is you should be considering, is while you're going through your curriculum, sign up for internships. This is gonna give you exposure inside of a company where you can then network with people and understand the roles that they have. Because you may come in as a systems administrator. Well, you may be working with people who are IT analysts. You may be working with people who are web developers. And then you talk to them and you say, man, like, what 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 are you doing in your career or your role? And they give you the path. You'd be like, oh, I want to do that. Again, it could be based on salary. It could be based on a number of things. So I want you guys to not just look at it as what's the best role. Think about it for you. Each one of us are unique. I liked software developing or software development. You may not like software development. I chose the path that I was going down because I wanted to make a whole crap load of money. That may not be a driving force for you. So there isn't the best role. When you ask about the best role, I'm always going to say, what do you like to do? What do you enjoy doing? What have you explored? What have you gotten a good grade in? But ultimately, you have to commit. And when you commit, the faster you commit, the faster you can become very knowledgeable in your area and the faster you can get to making a lot of money and becoming very valuable for a company. You may commit to something that you may not like, but you stick with it, you stick with it, you stick with it. You're gonna eventually like it because you're gonna become so good at it. And then if you want to branch off and do something later, you can do that. You can go from a system admin to a network engineer. Get your certifications. You can do that. So my whole point of this video, folks, is this, is there is no best role for a management information systems graduate. There is no best role for a computer science, CIS, it all depends on what you want to do in your career and what's the driving force. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. And until next time, y'all. Peace.